Hey guys, welcome to part four of our Red Sea Reefer tank build. The tank is now ready for water and we have a few things that we would like to accomplish today. We need to install our RODI system so we can make our own water. We definitely want a doser so we can add supplements to the system. And last but not least, we'll get a quick look at our new controller. So let's get to it. First we installed our four stage RODI unit, the Deepwater Ion. Installing a unit like this is easy, even if you don't have a water source immediately available. If you have a sink or laundry room near the area where you would like to install the unit, you can simply tap into the water line and create a source like we did in this case. The deep water ion has an auto shutoff, flush kit, TDS, pressure gauge, and a super high capacity carbon block. The installation was as easy as hooking a line from my water source into the RODI line and putting the TDS meter between the last stage of the system and our reservoir. Our reservoir is just a rain barrel that you can get at any hardware store. This unit does produce wastewater which will exit the system via the clear tubing that you see here. I always like to put my wastewater to good use. You can drain the wastewater into a reservoir inside or outside of your home and use it to water your flowers or anything else you can think of. In my case I had the line going all the way to the back of my house and I'm going to use it to top off my koi pond. Now that the deep water ion is ready to go, it's time to add some salt to the water we are creating. For this tank, we'll be using Red Sea's Core Pro Salt. We keep a pump at our reservoir and slowly add in the salt. In most cases, I will let the salt mix for 24 hours before adding it to the system. But since this tank is just starting, we will add it right now. We've made 25 gallons so far and we'll probably need around 35 more gallons. While the RODI is creating more water, we'll use this time to get started. If you already have sand in the tank, like we do, you can take a top or a plastic bowl to sit on top of the sand. You can then pour the water on top of the bowl or the top. In our case, this top rock is the perfect shape to pour our water onto so that we won't disturb the sand. Make sure that your rock is secure. It will also give me a chance to clean off some of the sand that got on top of our rocks since I put the sand in after I finished the aquascaping. The Grip Sea Sand does come with a water clarifier, which we'll use once we're done. But the water is pretty clear because we haven't disturbed the sand, so we might not even need it. Next up on our to-do list today is to start the setup of our Camorra 3 channel dosing pump. The doser is super easy to install, and I'm not just saying that. Check this out. First, you'll place the three pump heads onto the motor shaft. Press them gently and you will hear them snap into place. Next, you will add the connectors to the input and output for each of the three pump heads. Then you'll insert the AC-DC adapter into the back of the dosing unit. The last step will be to attach the transparent PVC tubing to the connectors for each inlet and outlet. Told you, super easy. Once we determine the supplements that we'll be using for this tank, we'll walk you guys through the steps to use the Kamara dosing pump. We definitely wanna make sure that this tank is taken care of, especially when we're out on a road so we'll be installing an Apex controller. We'll save the setup for another video, but we've been waiting to open this for a while, so we'll do a really quick unboxing for you guys. All right guys, we're done. We'll add more water by the next time you see this tank. Thanks again for tagging along for this build. You can learn more about every product in this video via the links in the description below or by visiting saltsupply.com.